he might only be in his second Turkish Airlines Euroleague season and first with the reigning Italian champion Dinamo Banco di Sardegna Sassari, but European basketball has not seen many globetrotters like Joe Alexander. The American forward was born in Taiwan, grew up and learned basketball while spending seven years in Beijing, China, then went to college and became a professional player in the United States. Now Alexander's basketball career has brought him to Europe, where so far he played in Russia, Israel, and this season, Italy. So my father's work basically took us to Beijing, where I spent uh, all my formative years. I left Beijing not until I was 16, so that's sort of where I grew up, made most of my friends, learned how to play basketball, and really where I call my home. It was in China where Alexander really started to learn and love the game of basketball, while putting a lot of work towards his future. However, a lot of the work he had to do all by himself. Well, there wasn't a whole lot of organized basketball when I was there, which was in the early 2000s. And for me to compete and to really develop my skills was something that I had to do on my own primarily. Well, in China, I was working on my individual skill sets because there weren't a lot of five-on-five -five leagues for me to participate in. So getting back to the U.S. was really the first time that I had a taste of what basketball actually was, because uh, up to that point, I was just shooting and dribbling all by myself. So it was a definite learning process for me, and I was already 16 at the time, so I had a big uh, learning curve to overcome. What he was missing in his game, Alexander overcame with talent and effort. He had a stellar college career at West Virginia University and turned pro in 2008. Last season, Alexander made his EuroLeague debut with Maccabi Tel Aviv. But compared to his rookie season, he has now more than doubled his production in most statistical categories. Alexander averages 10.1 points and 5.4 rebounds and ranks third among all EuroLeague players in block shots with 1.6 blocks per game. The past four seasons he has played in four different countries, but having an international upbringing assisted him as a basketball player. Well, I think uh, as a person, I'm a globetrotter and I don't really have a, a, a home base necessarily, so I'm used to uprooting myself and getting acclimated to new cultures and, and adapting quickly, so that fits right in with the professional basketball lifestyle, and I feel like I, I haven't had a problem with skipping from country to country, year to year. That's been something that has been an advantage for me, for sure. I think being able to understand other cultures and sympathize with the differences that we have, uh, especially the immediate shocks that you have with meeting other cultures that typically would annoy people who aren't accustomed to that. Those are the things that uh, I have a lot of ease with. So it, it's been good for me, like coming to Italy, being uh, in Israel and Russia. A lot of things don't phase me that I feel like normally uh, affects other American players. And all the while Alexander is trying to leave his mark on the EuroLeague floors, he has already left a permanent mark of his own in the other part of the world. His former high school in Beijing retired his jersey shortly after he turned pro. It was a big honor for me because I took so much pride in coming from that school, uh, the International School of Beijing, and I spent so many hours in those gyms uh, working on my game and playing with my brothers and my friends there. So to get a chance to go back and have them sort of you know, commemorate all that time that I put in was really special for me. I'll never forget it. Alexander naturally keeps in touch with his family in Taiwan and with his friends in China, where basketball has rapidly risen in popularity in recent years. The growth of basketball in China has been exponential since I left. I know that when I was there, I was sometimes practicing on dirt basketball courts, and there wasn't a lot of opportunity. But now, it's such a popular game over there that you have guys getting to the NBA, um, a growing fan base, and um, a, a lot of promise being shown from the whole country. Alexander is proud of such turn of events and happy to see basketball grow in the country that had a major influence on his life. Well, I think the culture definitely had a lasting impact on me. It's something that I'll probably never shake. Uh, and, and it was for the better, obviously. And those are subtle nuances that you can't really put your finger on, but they're just a part of my makeup and my personality. So I think China is definitely a permanent part of who I am.